Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the video. Uh, thanks for um, showing interest. Um, so, I'm mostly making this video for myself, <clears throat> just to document my collection, um, you know, as I'm getting older. But this book right here is um, my collection of uh, turbo bubblegum uh, inserts. So, each piece of uh, turbo bubblegum came with a an insert <laughs> and the insert was a photo of um uh here i'll show you i'll just get it started for you so you're not staring at blank space all right so as you can see um each one had basically a photo of a car and its statistics so um <clears throat> i was born in ukraine um some of you that watch know but anyway um so in the 80s basically there wasn't really that much you can get so me and my friends would run over to the market and get this uh turbo bubble gum right here so um and we would play games like we would basically you know like we would put it like that and then you know oh you can't do it here you kind of have to <laughs> anyway you, hopefully you get the picture it kind of we would flip them man i would lose these nowadays anyway so you flip them, and whoever manages to flip them uh, from their friends, you know, like you would put one down, your friend would put one down, and, you know, you would do that, and whoever flips one uh, gets to keep it. So that was the game. But yeah, this was the uh, my only... Um, <laughs> I could only look at these cars through this, because in the 80s, Ukraine was occupied by Soviet Russia, the USSR, and we didn't really have... Uh, much of anything really so you know all the cars were the russian you know bricks that drove around and broke down all the time <laughs> so anyway so yeah we all uh we all did this we had this and we also had donald um uh, bubblegum which had nice little comic concerts this by the way i remember winning from a guy this was like a holy grail the corvette um but yeah you know if you grow up with cars that look like bricks and then you you get these awesome photos you're like, oh my god. <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, so I'm just showing you the collection. Uh, recording it for myself. And most of these, there's not too many new ones. Because, you know, we played with them. Um, these were, oh yeah, I remember winning that too. That's so cool. I actually haven't opened this uh, album in maybe a decade or more. Just kind of remembered it. And I was like, I need to make a video. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just showing these page by page, like I said, for myself. <sighs> but yeah, oh man, Daytona Shelby. I actually, in America, I owned a Shelby Lancer, which was a same engine, um, you know, Dodge, but uh, by Carroll Shelby. Wow. I also owned a 525i, the real one, a few years back. This is awesome. <sighs> but yeah, um, so let's see, how old was I? So I was born in 1980, so you know how freaking old I am by now. Um, so, you know, I don't know, maybe I was seven, eight, maybe younger, maybe older, maybe both. Uh, yeah, this was fun. Turbo. If any of you, you know, I don't know if you guys had these in America. Uh, I honestly don't know. Uh, no one's ever mentioned anything about that. Maybe you've heard of Donald. I know you all heard of Bazooka Joe. Like, uh, we didn't get too many of those there. Because we didn't really know who Bazooka Joe was. We mm. Donald Duck, so we had the Donald gum. That's amazing. That minivan used to be like, oh my god, look how futuristic with the glass top. Ah, oh, jeez, look at this guy. He's probably an old man by now. My god. Time truly marches on. 
Uh oh, my cat has entered the uh, <laughs> review area. Dude, don't whine and meow, man. I'm filming my old childhood turbo collection. Oh yeah, <laughs> by the way, so. Oh yeah, hey, can't believe I missed that. Cat messed it up, yo. So, wow. Oh, these are like the second series. They were turbo, there was a turbo 2000, there was tur uh, super turbo. I didn't grow up with any of these. Apparently there was Turbo Sport. I grew up with these original ones right here, you know. And then uh, left Ukraine in 1991. So all these ones that say like, uh, hold on, I'll show you. <sighs> where are they? Oh, here we go. Here's where we left off. So all the ones that say Kent, on there I guess the company bought the turbo name and started putting out their own stuff so this is like 90s cars so I wasn't around for that oh my god I wish you guys could smell this it actually kind of smells like the bubble gum I just got like a head rush of uh, <laughs> nostalgia oops right. I'm like filming my table now there we go so yeah oh wow planes yeah, a lot of these I actually asked uh, my cousin to send over, and I I actually went there in like 90... I forget. I, I went to Ukraine a bunch of times since I moved out. Um, so I would usually pick up some of these from my friends, you know, who were like, Oh, I'm too old for this. I still have my collection. Do you want it? I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. So some of them gave me these. Some of them I would go and buy. I highly doubt that this uh they make these the gum anymore or the inserts oh yeah these are 2000 wow don't even remember getting these oh yeah i did uh i think 2003 um i bought like a whole case of them because in ukraine <laughs> it cost me like maybe three four dollars for the whole case so I like uh, gave the gum away to a bunch of kids and kept the inserts. Anywho. <sighs> but yeah, we're coming to an end here. I just wanted to make this for myself. So those of you that are like, oh, what are you showing this retarded stuff for? First, I would say don't use the word retarded because that's offensive to people who are uh, with special needs and mental problems. <laughs> Second of all, I would say I made this video for myself to remember in the future, to look back at, just in case something happens to this or I don't feel like looking through it. So, oh my god, <laughs> I didn't even know. So, hold on a second. Let me show you this. So, as you can see, there's uh, the Donald inserts I told you about. I wonder if I have a... There's Bazooka Joe. There's like Mickey stuff. I'm just trying to make this a one take video so that uh, I don't have to worry about it. About editing. It takes forever. Those I don't really remember. I think someone just gave me that. They're like, oh, you collect these? So I was like, okay, I'll take this. Sorry, I don't need to be rambling, but. Kind of filled the empty silence with something. Okay, so. Yeah, I totally like these. I'm gonna. Yeah, I don't know. As a kid, this was such joy to see. Because remember, there really wasn't cable. This is like 19, you know, 80s. And um, so, <clears throat> like mid to late 80s. So there was some television, but none of this. Not in Ukraine. Especially not before 1991 when it was in USSR. Like, you couldn't even get jeans over there, man. Um, everything American was pretty much banned. But we're back to being Ukraine again and everything's allowed. <laughs> Thank God for that. Yeah, these are cool. I'm just gonna speed that up. We're at nine minutes. You can pause if you're into the <laughs> actual stories of these. That's so cool, man. Love it. Yeah, the colors, the little things. Ah, oh, man. But yeah, there you go, guys. Yeah, whatever it is, it's all good. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, this was my um, Turbo and Donald uh, bubblegum inserts and little comic strips.
collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this. And uh, I'm going to pull out more stuff from my uh, bookcase and see if I can record all that for the future. So there's still my uh, middle school <laughs> sticker book collection. That's going to be interesting to look back at. Uh, maybe the stamp collection. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, uh, you know, it's winter outside. See? So, can't really go to flea markets, can't really do much of that, so. Anywho, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, that's it. That's my uh, collection. <laughs> Later. <laughs>